Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Jay here at Cliff Jones RV and Tractor. I've got here today a Wacker Noisen ET20 compact excavator. This is the Wacker Noisen ET20. It is going to be a 17.5 horsepower Yanmar diesel excavator. This is in the two ton class. It has easy access with three points of contact for you to get in and out of the excavator. It's actually very easy to get in and out and not hit the controls or anything like that. Uh, this excavator is really compact, really heavy duty, and it is ready to get the work done. So this excavator right here actually has a telescopic undercarriage so you can actually shrink the track width down or widen it for more stability. And it also has a telescopic adjustable bulldozer blade on the front. So if I come over here, I can show you real quick. You pull this pin up, and then it just folds back and this pin drops in and when you shrink the tracks down it'll be exactly this width and then it's easy it's just pulling it back like that fixing it up as i'm here at the back of this machine i'm going to open up the i guess you would call it the hood real quick uh your fuel filter and everything's going to be right here it's easy to access if you look down here you've got your oil filter You've got your oil fill, you've got your dipstick, you've got your diesel fill up, you've got your air filter. Everything is relatively easy and straightforward to access. I can place hands on just about everything. In fact, here's your coolant fill and there's actually a little sight right here. If you can zoom in on that to show you how much coolant you have in your system. You can pull the side access right here and you can access more. Your battery is actually right down here. This pops up. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys real quick. Pull it all the way off. You can pretty much access your battery, hydraulic line, stuff like that. This cab on this excavator can actually be assembled, disassembled without messing with your hydraulic function. So pretty much you can just disassemble this cab to work on the motor, but you wouldn't have to mess with any of your hydraulic lines or anything like that. I got the arm right here. This is gonna be an extended loader arm or an extended dipper, Wacker Noisen likes to call it. It is gonna be 105.6 inches of digging depth or reaching out and just enter any general direction with this. Right here on this side, actually, I had to walk around right here. It does have a hydraulic tilt cylinder so you can actually angle the arm all the way to a 90 degree angle as well as rotate the entire chassis of the excavator so you can dig in just about any angle that you need to. The bucket is relatively easy to disconnect. There's just a few pins holding it in. Other than that, I do want to point out right here that it does have a guard for the hydraulic cylinder on the underside so if you are working it won't smash into that and you won't bend that piston. So this excavator is very open. It does have 360 degree field of vision. There is a glass win window port, I guess you would call it up here. So you can view if you are working up in the air or anything like that with the extended loader arm. I'm gonna climb up here, show you that it does have the three points of contact and it's really easy to access this cab. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the lockouts. This is how you would lock it out and being able to operate the machine, stuff like that. But in order to fire it up, I do have to have them raised. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. The Yanmar 17 horsepower engine is extremely reliable and Yanmar is really well known. So lower the lockouts. This does give you access to all the controls. Obviously with my camera woman standing right there, I can't move any of the controls yet, but once she backs up, I'll be able to show you everything and how it moves and how it operates, stuff like that. All right, guys, so I have her backed up to a safe distance. Now I'm going to raise the loader arm. As you can see, it gets up there and with the sight glass, I can actually see where my bucket is located. Can lower it back down. You can rotate. Like I said, with the loader arm, so this machine is really smooth and easy to operate. You can actually change up the control pattern between ISO or H pattern, depending on operator preference. It does have LED lights. So you do have LED working lights that are extremely, extremely bright. And like I was mentioning about the tracks, you can adjust the track width. So 
depending on what job you're doing, where you have to access and where you need to get this excavator, you can pretty much do just about anything with this machine. I'm gonna shut it off real quick so it'll be quiet. Um, pretty much the only other thing that I do have to point out is it does have foot pedals to operate. So you do have hands-free access. Good little demonstration here is this would be going forward, this would be reverse, and then you could turn like this while operating the joysticks to toggle the chassis or the backhoe itself. Other than that, this machine's pretty simple. It's well built, it's extremely well engineered. Wacker Newson is all it takes and it's ready to do the work. If you're interested in any of our machines or any equipment that we carry, give Cliff Jones a call, 979-885-3554. We're happy to take care of you. Y'all have a wonderful day and happy Thanksgiving.